Well, this week we continue to celebrate National Small Business Week, and we certainly know how important these businesses are to a community's strong economy. This morning, we have Regional Administrator Alan Thomas with the Small Business Administration joining us as he is in town for some very special events. And Alan, it's great to have you on daytime. Well, thank you and good morning. Glad to be here. I'm glad to have you and of course we were talking earlier such a big week such an important focus really celebrating what these businesses bring to our area. It really is phenomenal what small businesses do for this part of Tennessee and across the entire country is over two thirds of all jobs across the country are small business generated and 50% uh, of our economy is small business generated. And you have some real champions right here in the Tri-Cities that we are excited to come in and celebrate. And of course, one of those, no stranger to daytime Tri-Cities. And you said, just reading through his resume, what an inspiration to so many other business owners. He is, Craig Charles is just a spark plug, as I mentioned to you before, and, uh, and uh, Crown Cuts, the, the barber business that he began in 2017, a location here in Johnson City and also in Bristol. And we all know that the barber shop is really the, the, the corner of the world for a lot of communities. Just where a lot of people come in and catch up on their daily news. They were there before the internet. <laughs> they were there before daytime television. And um, I just think he's doing a phenomenal job, not just of growing his business, but also just creating and kind of an iconic uh, type of opportunity uh, to teach his trade across all of this part of Tennessee. He is a, a wonderful person to celebrate, and I know you've been here a few days really talking about celebrating this day, and you said you know firsthand how important it is to have that support as a business owner. I do. I'm, I'm a chronic uh, business uh, <laughs> owner and, and uh, starter myself. Four years ago, I was getting my own PPP loan, uh, executive vice president with a jet company, and uh, we didn't know where we were going to go next, but um, it was so great to see the SBA stepped up and funded close to 35 million businesses across this country during that period to get people to the other side. The last four years, 17 million new business applications across the country, the majority here in the South. And uh, I'm the administrator from Kentucky to the Mississippi River to the tip of Florida. So I've seen uh, some really great businesses across the region, but this in particular is a special, special place and I'm honored to be here today. How important is that support coming from the business world, which you are, to obviously buying into what they're doing at the Small Business Administration? It really is because the SBA provides access to funding. We did over $8 billion in funding just in the Southeast last year. If not for SBA, small businesses would not get funding through, through the banks. Also, government contracting, over 23% of the $680 billion in government contracting is designated for small business, so that's another area. And also disaster recovery and relief. We direct lend to communities that are impacted by tornadoes and storms and fire and all those, and we don't just show up and leave. We stay for the long haul and help communities rebuild. And it's, for me, it's a true blessing to be a part of this enterprise and be able to see us making a difference across uh, the entire Southeast. And continuing to grow, continuing to, to put up different resources in these different communities to make sure these businesses stay successful. Exactly. How to get access to capital. And we do this for free. We provide free training, the women's business centers, the veterans business outreach centers. And I think I mentioned to you a story when I started a company a number of years ago, the small business development centers. I came in with an idea on a napkin <laughs> and grew that company to uh, be in over 160 facilities in about 36 states. So I live wow. the story. That's why I love telling the story about what SBA and you can go to SBA.gov and find out so much more about what we do across the entire country. Well, we are certainly glad to have you here in our area. You enjoy, enjoying the stay? I love it. I've tried to eat everything I can get my hands on while I'm here, and I love this part of Tennessee. Good. Well, we hope you'll come back and join us again soon. Thanks we'll so do. much for your time. We're going to give you that website. As he said, lots and lots of information and resources available to small businesses here in our area. For more, you can check out the website.